Welcome to P2 Aero and the Rans S21 project. I had an afternoon of decent weather and I managed to get some primer sprayed on enough parts to keep moving forward. I decided to fab up some quick doublers for future antenna installations so I put that screwed up boot cow panel to good use. I just made up a simple paper template taken straight from the parts that we'll integrate with and I'm not sure how the factory guys do this but it seemed like a good way to capitalize on the extra strength of the stringer and stiffener already in those corners. I've linked the products in the description, so I won't go into detail on that part, but I do want to do a brief overview of the process that I'm doing to prep for primer. In my experience, simply abrading the surface isn't sufficient for anything to stick well. I like to use an acid etch followed by an alodyne conversion coating. This leaves a good surface that the primer does stick well to. Don't take any of this as how-to instructional video. I'm just showing you how I decided to go about it. None of this stuff is good for your health but that just means that it works well, so be careful with it. I like to leave the parts in these solutions for roughly five minutes or so. On bigger parts, I just lay them out on the table and do my best at keeping the surface wet with the solution for at least five minutes. It gets messy, so I would advise you to make this an outside project. I'm only doing this process in areas that are either getting painted later or spots that come in contact with the steel structure. If you've been following along, you'll know I didn't spray anything after the baggage area. 6061 has sufficient corrosion resistance for my needs.
And here's a quick comparison of what an untreated part looks like in comparison to the ones we just did. It should take on a bronze tint if the conversion coating took. So far up to this point I've been using PTI Zinc Chromate Aerosol for everything. While a bit more expensive, its convenience is worth the extra bounty since I don't have to clean out a gun after every little batch of parts. I removed some of the primer on the mating surface of these antenna doublers just to make sure that when I do install an antenna it gets a good ground to the skin and I don't have any ground plane issues. I put all this together one final time and began securing the rivets. The plans are clear on what goes where so pay attention to that as you go. I chose to wet install the rivets going through the cage tabs which you'll see here in a bit. All I do is spray some of that same primer in a cup and dip the rivets prior to insertion, followed by a quick wipe on the outside with acetone to clean up the exterior surface. do have one tab on these rear skins that requires a spacer so I left those undone for now as I move forward there's a few more spots that need it as well so I figure I'll just do them all at once at that time Well, this is a good spot to wrap things up. On the next video, I'll be doing the last few things prior to putting on the belly skin for the cage section. Stay tuned for that, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.